Creating a custom interactive end card, also known as an end slate, an outro, and an end screen for the end of your YouTube videos is a great way to drive awareness to your other videos, your playlists, other channels, increase engagement, increase your subscribers. This is Lisa Jarrett and today I've got a special tutorial for you on how to add an end card to your videos using iMovie on a MacBook Pro. Let's get started, shall we? Before we hop over to iMovie, I want to give you an idea of exactly what we're going to be creating. This is one of my videos and check it out as it starts to transition right now to the end card. And I've turned off the sound, but the sound does work, of course. And that was a very nice transition. Some of the other things that are on my end card, I've got a link back to my website, a subscribe button, and I've got two buttons that go to other content on my channel. The actual links on those buttons are created with YouTube annotations after you upload your video to YouTube. Now let's get started and find out how it's done. Here we are in iMovie, and I'm assuming that you understand the basics of iMovie. So for today, we're solely going to focus on adding the end card and having the video play in a very specific location on that end card. I've already assembled my movie in the timeline. I've edited my movie, and we're all set to add the end card. As you can see in my library of events, I have all the pieces and parts that make up my movie, including my end card. The end card is simply an image that you can create in any graphic program. Personally, I use PicMonkey, and the end card is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. You can head over to my website. I've got a template for you to download, and the link is in the description below. First step, select the end card and drag it to the end of the movie. You'll notice that when I view this in the viewer, it's magnifying, and we don't want it to magnify. Click the end card, go to the icons located directly above the viewer, click the cropping icon, select fit for the style. Once you select fit, you'll notice that it no longer magnifies, and that's exactly what we want. Next step, you want to make your end card longer than the four seconds. Select your end card, hover over the right edge, the mouse cursor turns into a double arrow, click hold, and drag to the number of seconds that you would like your clip to play. And I've made mine 30 seconds because that's how long I want mine to play. Next step, go to your video clip that you've already edited and find the last 30 seconds. What you can do is click and hold with your left mouse button and you'll get a double-edged yellow box and you can drag each side to find where that 30 second mark is. Once you've selected that 30 seconds of the video clip that you want to appear in your end card, go to modify and split clip. You see that the clip is now split into two. Select the 30 second portion of the clip, click hold and drag it on the timeline above the end card. Next we're going to create a picture in a picture so that the video plays inside the box on the end card. Select the video clip Go to the icons that are located above the viewer and select Video Overlay Settings. There's a drop-down menu with four selections. Select Picture in a Picture. Once you do that, the end card is in view and there's a miniature version of your video. Click, hold, and drag it to the area where you want it to appear. Click the lower right corner. You see that the cursor turns into a double arrow. Click, hold, and drag until it fills the area where you want it to appear. Now that we created the picture in a picture, let's go ahead and see how it plays out. Or some other call to action. So as you can see, annotations in YouTube, they're powerful tools. And it works perfectly. 
Once you upload your video to YouTube, add your annotations for your clickable links for the subscribe button, a link back to your website, additional videos on your channel or another channel, or wherever you wish to send people with your clickable annotation links. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was helpful for you, I appreciate if you give it a like. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday sharing all of my very best internet marketing tips and tricks as well as tutorials like this one. This is Lisa Jarrett. I thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.